Honourable Speaker, with your kind permission, I rise to move that the bill further to amend the Central Vigilance Commission Act 2003 be taken into consideration. No, no, it's not law. Shri Manish Tiwari ji. Mr. Chairperson, sir, uh, I rise to move that this House disapproves of the Delhi Special Police Establishment Amendment Ordinance 2021, 10 of 2021, promulgated by the President of India on the 14th of November 2021. Honourable Speaker, with your kind permission, I rise to move the bill further to amend the Delhi Special Protect Police Establishment Act 1946 be taken into consideration. At the time of introduction, sir, is Barko Savevi Spashikiya Gyatha, and now that it is being taken in for consideration, Mujay Kewal Itrai Kana, K is a amendment K Matiam say Jitra Bada Vivad Hura Utra Vishene. So, may Agre Karunga Savi Mani Sadasio say that respect the spirit of the order rather than seeing too much into this. Because as we know, and you should also, I think I'll request everybody to go by the intent of this government. Ever since Shri Modi took over as the Prime Minister, one of the very early declarations that he made was that this government will follow a policy of zero tolerance towards corruption. And uh, he has walked the talk over the years, which is evident from the fact that Prevention of Corruption Act 1988, the first time the first the bribe giver was also made culpable along with the bribe taker. And at the same time, good performing, honest officers were given certain safeguards. Even in the recruitment to the government jobs, the interviews were abolished to provide a level playing field. I would request that in the current state of affairs, the government jobs, the interviews were abolished to provide a level playing field. I would request that in the context of all this, in our collective fight against corruption, we have to realize that corruption and crime have achieved multiple dimensions in the recent years. It is, the corruption is getting linked to the black money, also getting linked to the international crime, and thereby, as an offshoot ramification, you have drug trafficking, we have terrorism, we have criminal offenses, and all this in collectivity has led to new methodologies and new technologies. अब इसमें अगर किसी संस्था का कोई अधिकारी या मुखिया अगर एक जांच कर रहा है या इन्वेस्टिगेशन कर रहा है, तो इट रिक्वायर्स सर्टेन अमाउंट ऑफ कंटिन्यूटी एंड एट द सेम टाइम बिसाइड्स इंस्टीट्यूशनल कंटिन्यूटी इंडिविजुअल कंटिन्यूटी का महत्व ये बन जाता है कि बहुत सारी ऐसी जानकारी होती है तो कई बार किसी अधिकारी का उस पद पर या उस जिम्मेवारी पर कुछ और समय तक निर्धारित समय तक रहने के लिए न्याय के हक में एक निर्णय लेना अनिवार्य बन जाता है एंड देयरफॉर टू दैट एक्सटेंड इज जस्ट एन एनेबलिंग प्रोविजन पर्टिकुलरली व्हेन द एफएटीएस एफएटीएफ हैज आल्सो सजेस्टेड टू डिफरेंट नेशंस टू इंप्रूव देयर लॉ एनफोर्समेंट अथॉरिटीज and uh, I will quote, one of its report says, countries should have in place process to ensure that the staff of these authorities maintain high professional standards, including standards concerning confidentiality, and should be of high integrity and appropriately skilled, end quote. So from that point of view also, and also keeping in mind that many of the investigating agencies abroad have the term of the head lasting over several years. FBI has a term of 10 years. And most of the countries have an average term of tenure of 5 or 7 years, or it's a flexible term. So let us look at it as an enabling provision in the interest of justice, in the interest of checking crime, in the interest of checking international ramifications. And somehow the, the misgiving has gone in that there is an attempt to extend the term of the head of the institution, which is not so. On the contrary, this is going to ensure that the term is going to get limited to five years. Because the first act was CVC 2003, if we read it carefully, 
it says tenure not more than two years. It does not say tenure up to two years. Now we are introducing tenure up to five years maximum. So in fact, we are doing precisely what some of the honorable members of opposition want to be done. We are actually restricting the government not to go beyond five years. <laughs> Which, so I think let's let's discuss in that spirit. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Thank you.